Hi, Brian, and welcome to Pallo TV. Yeah, thank you for having me. It's a, a pleasure to be here. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. You're about to start your first season as head coach in Ykkönen. Uh, what kind of season have you prepared for? Uh, what is up ahead? Well, we know from our last experience and, and, and watching uh, Clubby that you know it's very tough for a young team in Ukkonen and the challenge is going to be a be a hard one. But I think this year we've recruited really well. Um, I think the squad is a, a young but very very talented squad, and and our aim is not just to to compete and stay in it and it's, it's, it's to make sure that we can win games and try and finish as high up as possible. Um, the aim of, of, of our academy is to develop players and put players forward to the first team that can help the first team be successful over a number of years and hopefully make some of them into saleable assets. But of course we want to do that whilst being an Ukkonen team and for us that challenge is, is win games and get players in the first team. And, and that'll be the aim for the for the, for the season. Yeah. Where's the emphasis been in, in the recruitment? I mean, what sort of players have you, you know, uh, recruited? Well, we, we want players that are, um, are active and aggressive, both with and without the ball, that can dominate possession whilst being creative, whether that be from the back, through the midfield or the forward players. And then... Um, players that are mobile enough to to be able to play a pressing style of football whenever we can. You know, sometimes you do have to sit low in a block, and we understand that. But we want to recruit people that are comfortable in possession and can dominate the ball, but also be able to be active out of possession, be aggressive on the press. Yeah, how's the cooperation between Asiko's first team and your your team organized? How many players all together and so forth? Well. I can honestly say I think this year um, has been so far the best year in terms of communication between the, the, the first team staff and, and the academy and Joachim, the first team manager, has shown a, a real interest in what we do um, and in fact Kingsley Ofora, who, who was one of our, uh, our, our star players last year, has, has been training up and playing up and made his, his league debut against Hoyiko. Um, so that's great for us. We've had a number of other players training up and then we've had the likes of Matthias Van Impar drop down and play with us because he went to the army so he needed to get some game minutes after being in the army. Um, and really the way it's going to work is that each week that they feel that they need players that need minutes and if we need a certain player to, to, to help us, we will communicate and talk and see if it's possible to, to make that happen. But what we have to ensure that it's right for for the first team because that's the end goal and we have to make sure it's right for the academy's development process so really it's it's not an, a matter of numbers or certain players it's just a matter of communicating each week and making sure we do what we feel is best for the football club so Ukkonen is about to start mm. how would you describe the league ah tough like you see some of the signings and some of the players that are playing in Auckland this year. Wowza, it's, it's really exciting. And what I love about that is that it's going to be an even bigger test for our players. And if they really want to kick on to the first team and, and affect the first team and help them be successful, they need those challenges. And they need to be able to show they can compete against many, many players that have big, big Vekas Liga experience. So it's going to be a really good season and I think you'll see some, some really strong teams out there. And look, I, I hope that we're going to be able to compete with them too. What sort of goals have you put up for your team? Well, like I said um, earlier, for us, the, the goal is to, to win games and get into the first team. And with such a, um, a varied squad in terms of where people are on our player pathway, you know, we've got some players that are training with us and happy to be there training and get that experience, and then they will go and get their football uh, out on loan or our, 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 our cooperation with Vasa EFK. And then we've got players that want to play big minutes in Ukkonen and they, they want that experience. And we've got other players that want to be in and around the first team already. So um, really it's about just making sure that we, we meet those needs of the individuals, but stay focused on the team goal of winning games. That, that, that is basically it, really. Yeah. Um, who are the favourites to win Ukkonen? 
Well, if, if you look, I think that the, the two big ones will be TPS and Yaddo, if, if I'm totally honest. But, you know, Ekenes, they're always there or thereabouts. We played Perco 35 only a week or so ago and they were they were good side so I think that you're gonna see a very competitive top half but I, I, I can certainly see TPS and, and Yado being right up there. Yeah. yeah. And then again uh, who are your main opponents this year? TPS and Yado. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we, we, we want to compete against everybody. We we want to make sure that we're, we're 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 pushing everybody. And if if we can push those two big sides, that means we'll be competing against everybody else. We don't, we, you know, there's 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 nobody that that we're going to single out that we think, oh, if we can beat these few sides, then we'll be okay. No, no, no. We're going to go out to try and win every game. So yeah, let's say we'll compete against those two, and we'll see where we go from there. Uh, what will decide whether you have a good season or a great season? Um, how many games we win and how many players we get in the first team. I think that's it's, it's as simple as that for us. You know, um, of course, if, if you're winning games, you're doing well. But for us, we could be winning games and have nobody in the first team, and then feel a little bit disappointed. So we need to make sure that balance is there. So win games, get people in the first team, it's successful. Thank you, Brian, and good luck. Hey, thank you very much for having me.